that's like PhD level nutrition, right? You, it's like uh, you don't have a you don't have a sweet tooth anymore, so that simplifies your life. You've simplified your diet so that now you know when something happens, right? You get a rash or you get a hair problem or uh, digestion issues. You can pretty well narrow down what is it that happened and you can try it out, right? You can eliminate it for a while. And to me, that's just a fantastic way to approach food. Absolutely. I mean, when you're eating a standard American diet and you're having for breakfast, you're having the oatmeal, then you're having sandwich, pizza, chips, having all these different kinds of foods. It's hard to narrow in on, okay, was it the pizza that made my stomach hurt? Was it the chips that made me have the acne? What was the thing that was causing it? Because you're eating so much variety. Also with the eggs, I just, after two days of not having eggs, it was like completely like, just like felt like the cooling was blowing on my head. So it only took a couple of days to realize, yep, that was it. Sardines and water for sure. Um, if someone is able to find like very good quality sardines and oil, I haven't been able to find them. We used to find the ones in oil from uh, Amazon or Costco, but um, it says olive oil. I'm not anti olive oil. It's just to have olive oil. I think you have to be like an olive oil connoisseur and know what to look for and what to look out for on the bottles. There's very specific things that we look for in terms of it should have like a ability to track where the olive farm was from. Um, right. But Absolutely. a lot of the companies are going to be using the cheaper olive oils, which unfortunately about 80% of them are known to be rancid or may have canola oil in them. So. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.